Does anyone remember that TV special where Spock rigged the Academy Awards? No? Nobody? Well, if you don't remember that, chances are you've never heard of the TV show Spitting Image, so let's cover that. Spitting Image was a British puppet satire show that ran from 1984 all the way up to 1996. Each episode featured a number of different caricature puppets that enacted skits based on current events. If these puppets seem familiar, you might have seen them in the Genesis music video for Land of Confusion. Spitting Image's targets covered everything, including news anchors, sports athletes, actors, and pop stars. But the show was best known for its targeting of political figures. This was mostly because the most memorable puppets of the program were Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, her replacement Prime Minister John Major, and United States President Ronald Reagan. The humor on this show was exceptionally biting and savage. It's not just that they went after mocking easy targets, but that they took aim at topics you would never expect a satirical puppet show to address. Like remember the whole Chernobyl incident of 1986? Yeah, they went after that screw up. The show more than accomplished its job of taking the piss out of the figures it targeted, often portraying them as inept in everything from politics to war to sex. Nothing, and I do mean nothing, was off limits for them, often getting really mean and nasty at times with the satire. The fact that the show existed with the writing it had and the elaborate puppet caricatures assembled in mass is just so surreal. The show wasn't as well known in America considering the majority of the content was focused on United Kingdom pop culture, especially the politics. But the puppets would certainly become more known for various TV specials that aired on American television. This is mostly because the puppet of Ronald Reagan was so iconic for being so elderly and inept that it led to the figure receiving three TV specials. However, the special I want to talk about today is the Spitting Image 1987 Academy Awards. It's an odd and weird mockery of just about everyone involved with the movies of the mid to late 1980s. It's also worth noting about this special is that the voice cast was much different from the Spitting Image show. There was a wealth of top talents assembled here, including the likes of Frank Welker. Oh, uh, good evening, um, uh, David. David! Maurice LaMarche. Well, congratulations, Clint. You just squashed a nominee for Best Supporting Actor. And Harry Shearer before he became better known for The Simpsons. Good evening. Welcome to the night of a thousand stars, and me. <laughs> oh, 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 Johnny, so funny and self-deprecating, too. Yeah, thanks, big fella, I noticed that myself. You can hear them easily enough through their dead-on impersonations. The story, and yes, there is a story to the special, unlike the show, is that the 1987 Academy Awards ceremony is starting soon, and Leonard Nimoy is pissed off about the current crop of prolific movies. In particular, he can't stand how the film Aliens doesn't feature Asian actors or Scottish accents. There are a number of other actors who are also steamed about this, like Richard Chamberlain and Roger Moore, but it's mostly Nimoy feeling he has the most range, even though he is always wearing the Spock ears and constantly identifies as Spock in the special. He attends an Oscar luncheon, but is mocked by every actor and director in attendance. Angered at not being recognized for his talent, Spock, or Nimoy, whatever he identifies as, decides to rig the awards in his favor. After a montage of mocking the absurd length of the Academy Awards, the bigger awards start to reveal a meddling in the winners, notably that Walter Matthau won for Best Actress. The stars decide to investigate and are dismayed by the rigged awards, like Howard the Duck winning for Best Picture. But when the actors see the real awards, they prefer Nimoy's picks as opposed to the Academy. They opt for his choices and the awards ceremony proceeds with the off nominations perfectly in tune with Spitting Image's satire. In between all this are plenty of gags on the movie industry icons of the era. Woody Allen is mocked for his films being too referential of his own personal life as he writes another script for a character that is essentially himself. The Color of Money, a film about playing pool with Paul Newman and Tom Cruise, becomes a running joke in that the only top talent of the picture was a pool ball. Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and Dustin Hoffman are all mocked at once as being indistinguishable from each other that even they can't tell each other apart, leading to them merging into one being that speaks in unison throughout the special. Steven Spielberg is portrayed as being so overstuffed with cash from his blockbusters that he's struggling to figure out what to do with it. His solution? 
make Heaven's Gate 2. And then there are a bunch of easy gags. Anthony Perkins brings a corpse to the awards. The Xenomorph is the real star of Aliens. And nobody knows who Bob Hoskins is. Remember, this was pre-Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Watching this special is very much akin to watching the show, giving a snapshot of the era in its pointed satire. However, it's not the best of the spitting image specials with a long narrative format. It becomes clear that a lot of spitting image's best bits come more from politics than entertainment. The Ronnie and Nancy show is particularly hilarious because it finds a lot of current events to extract from, to make the central character of a dunce of many great bits. With Leonard Nimoy, the joke is mostly that he's bitter for not being taken seriously, that he can only play Spock, that he has floppy ears, and that's about it, I guess. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of funny gags in this special, but most of it is fairly surface level silliness. It just doesn't quite have the same bite that Spitting Image was known for. That being said, I still have some love for this special, for the pointed humor, the elaborate celebrity puppets, the stellar voice casting, and serving as a unique snapshot for the era. It's also just weird, funny, and silly to know that there's a TV special where Leonard Nimoy rigged the Academy Awards. We're running out of ammunition. We're still. We're running out of deodorant. Here's the plan. You head up to the upper deck and get killed stupidly. Yes, sir. You go down to the lower deck and die even more stupidly. Uh-huh. And remember, stick to dark places where you can't see a thing and no one can help you. What are you gonna do? I'm going to stay here and strip down to my underwear. Oh. oh, 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 oh. 